Are you ready to see part three of the Mattel 1995 Girls Toys Catalog? This has been quite the catalog. If you haven't watched the other videos, I'll put a link and so you can go check it out. But um, we're ready to go into part three, which has in here, it's they call it the Susie and the Goo Goos. Um, but they actually came out as Mimi and the Goo Goos. So these catalogs are really interesting because you can find things in here like that where they decided to change the name at the last minute or items that were unproduced. I think some of them Polly Pocket things and a couple of the Barbie things that are in this catalog are actually unproduced. So these are kind of cool because they're not meant for the general public, right? They're meant for dealers. So you get some kind of cool stuff. So let's check it out. Okay guys, part three, let's start with Family Corners. I don't believe I've ever heard of this before, so I'll have to double check to see if it was actually something that was produced. Um, here are the dolls. They look very sort of Skipper, Stacy style dolls. It looks like maybe they came with like cardboard houses. I'm not sure. There's a lot of dads with babies. And that's a very cool couch there. <laughs> looks like there's a wedding set. They're very, very into the dads with the babies in here. <laughs> so I don't know if these were produced. I don't know what size they are. And they're interesting looking. And then we have some more family corners. Dolls and assortments. So here's the big overview of the page. And then we'll go over here to the text. Girls will have fun picking out the perfect guy to pair up with their favorite female doll to create a special family all their own. Dad comes with a great looking outfit and a dashing tuxedo for his wedding day. A baby also comes with each dad. So this is how they got them to buy the boy dolls. The baby, if you wanted the baby, it came with the dad, not the mom. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> like, here's how we'll force the girls to buy the boy dolls. The babies come with the dads. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we each have what looks like their little backgrounds. Some of these are the same from the last page. But then we have all of our different wedding girls. Choose a perfect guy for your favorite girl. Each male doll comes with a handsome tuxedo and hopefully a burp cloth so they don't get any baby spit up on it. <laughs> Decorate the house again and again. Maybe they're like color forms. That would be cool. Oh yeah, look, here is the like little stickers that you get with it. Maybe the stickers come with the dads because it's like the pictures of the dad and the kids. Huh. Interesting, interesting concept. And now we switch over to what they say here is Susie and the Goo Goos, which I know to be Mimi and the Goo Goos. I don't know how long they made Mimi and the Goo Goos. And I always thought Mimi and the Goo Goos was a competitive company, like they were trying to... Um, 
get some Polly Pocket Thunder, you know, because they really are play sets with the little tiny dolls and bears and stuff. But, um, no, they're from the same company. So these little, um, like the little hamburger and the little book, they opened up. And then they had little babies inside. So that's why Goo Goo's, I guess. <laughs> that's a soap container. I always thought it would be a good, Mimi and the Goo Goo's, it would have been a good band name in the 80s, you know? <laughs> Those are some fun sets. And then they had some bigger sets. Oh, i never seen that um, boombox one. That's cool. I've had a few of these here and there over time. I've never had that phone or that cash register. I actually have this set listed on eBay right now. But I think I'm missing one of the babies from the set. The burger bar. And these, um, it actually almost looks like an art. These fade. The pink, especially, and the blue um, get faded. So it's real common to find these faded. And this actually, in this picture, it looks like it's already faded. And then there's like a big set. Fun Farm, Fun Park, Goo Goo Fun Park, with a little gift shop and a ride and a slide, a train, it's pretty cute, Susie and the Goo Goos. page of Susie and the Goo's? Nope, we don't. We have moved on now to Dreamland dolls, which are little baby dolls. Each comes with a baby book and a Dreamland calling card that lets girls listen to a three-minute pre-recorded message from Nanny Annie. very first thing a girl must do is choose a name for her dreamland baby and then call Nanny Annie to share the good news. Girls send away their dreamland name gram, gram and within four to six weeks a special package arrives with a wonderful surprise like a beautiful pink, lavender, or blue sleeper embroidered with the baby's name plus personalized name labels, birth certificate, and more. Oh, that looks like fun. So you pick the baby's name and they send you a sleeper. Is this, okay, so here it sh actually shows what you get. Surprise package comes with pretty sleeper. So there's the sleeper and the birth certificate and a coupon. And some little nameplates. It's a cute idea. Okay, and then next we have Princess Bride. Not the movie, but the doll. She magically transforms from a beautiful bride to a colorful princess. Very cute. Reverse her skirt and sleeves. And like magic, her beautiful white bridal dress becomes a pretty princess gown. And then it looks like you can also wear her jewels. 
So here's your before and here's your after. That's her tiara. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, next. Okay, now we're into the Disney and I think the rest of the book, if I'm not mistaken, is all Disney stuff. Yeah, it is. So this is a Pocahontas doll. And it comes with Miko, I think. And she's got all kinds of little hair doodly bobbers for you to put in there. And let's read about Braided Beauty Pocahontas. If I'm going too fast on the text and you want to read it, you can always just pause it. And then... Start it back up again when you're ready. Here's some more Pocahontas dolls. We have uh, sun color dolls. Capturing the outdoor feel of the new Disney animated movie. These sun color dolls change with the sun's UV rays. The doll clothes reveal the bright multicolored leaf motif called Colors of the Wind. Very cool. So you get Pocahontas here. And the little hummingbird flit. And then some other dolls, which I assume do not come with this pottery or um, arrows. He's got the arrows here too. Maybe he does come with those. I don't know. Probably not though. Okay, and then more Pocahontas. We've got a John Smith doll there. Man, didn't know the mullet was a thing way back then. <laughs> so this is the Sun Colors Captain John Smith doll. And he comes with a locket for you to wear. That's cool. It's like a compass and then a locket on the inside. And then we have the River Rowing Pocahontas doll. So she must come with this little raft and a little Miko. That's fun. Requires two AA batteries, huh? Now we have some some of the pets over here. Pocahontas Animal Friends. So this was never my favorite Disney movie. Of course, I was like 19 when this came out, but um I had a pug at the time, so I really loved Percy. He reminded me of my little pug, Pugsley. Little King Percy. And then over here, we have Captain John Smith and Pocahontas gift set. Got this glitter clothes on. And then we've got magical hair Pocahontas. So she comes with little beads and things that you can put in her hair. That's cool. And then, of course, you could probably also put them in your own hair. I always like the things where they have something that's 
for you as well as for the doll. This is uh, a Powhatan face paint set. Um, I don't know about this one. I'll just leave that there. And then we have um, the po Pocahontas paint and weave set. So this is, uh, you can make baskets and stuff. It's like a little basket making kit. And then you can paint the baskets that you make. That's kind of neat. I like that. That's a cool. It's a cool little art project that ties in. Okay, now we're on to Aladdin which um, that movie, I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video up, but that movie comes out this Friday. Really excited to see it. The live action version, of course. <laughs> so we have Water Surprise, Aladdin and Jasmine Dolls. And they're, I think, color changing again. That's always like one of those fun little add-ons. And then this is Arabian Lights Jasmine. So I assume this is a glow in the dark. The ultimate princess lights up with a magical glow like the stars in an Arabian night. She has a royal jewel in her hair and earrings, both of which light up. And her glamorous outfit really glows in the dark, too. Huh. So her jewels light up and she glows in the dark. Very cool. And we've got some more, which I assume these are like Barbie-sized dolls, most likely. Aladdin and Jasmine dolls. Just in different outfits from the movie. All the little things you can do with her hair, which never quite worked out for kids to do. <laughs> it was just too hard. And we have fantasy hair, Jasmine. So any of these dolls with the super long hair are always fun to play with and comb their hair and braid their hair and stuff. And then we have Disney Perfume Princesses. So we've moved on now to the Multiple Princess Collection. And it looks like each of the dolls, which I'm assuming these are going to be smaller than the Barbies, um, maybe six inch or something, they come with little compacts and perfumes. There's Aurora and hers. Um, who is this supposed to be? We have Jasmine. We have Cinderella. Is that Belle? Let's see if it says... Um, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, oh yeah, if you look at her thing, it, that's Belle, okay, Belle in a green dress, sure. Oh, I see, so the little compact holds your perfume inside and then when you take it apart that's your stand maybe for your doll interesting I like it 
And then now we have musical princesses and princes, it looks like. Disney's musical princess doll collection. And again, I assume these are slightly smaller dolls. But they, I guess they could be Barbie size. I have seen a couple of these, um, these little stars and didn't know what they went to. Part of the reason I like to share these, other than, you know, as a collector, you like to see them or, you know, just as a fan of dolls. But part of the reason why I like to share these is because... You can identify things that you have or have seen or have found that you didn't know what they went with. Oh, here's the prince. Prince Charming with his little pillow for Cinderella's shoe. And Prince Aladdin. And the Beast. And then we've got some more princesses here. These are Special Sparkles Collection. Special Sparkles Cinderella. So she's got glitter all on her dress. And then we have Special Sparkles Snow White. And Special Sparkles Jasmine. That's a pretty Jasmine outfit. And a pretty Snow White outfit. And then we have Bedtime Princess Collection. So maybe these are like those, um, if you watch the Barbie collection, they had the Barbies that had the soft bodies um, and so they were more sort of like stuffed animals and so they were better for you know sleeping if you wanted to take them to bed with you it was a little less harsh than a Barbie <laughs> and I think these might be the same where their bodies are soft And then we move on to The Lion King, which is also coming out this year in a live action movie. And this is The Lion King Jungle Puppets Finger Puppets Set. And so you've got all of your regular Lion King friends, Timon and Pumbaa, but then you've got a zebra, and you've got a monkey... There's a zoo, an elephant, a giraffe, even a flamingo. Those are fun. And then you got some plushies here. Cub to King Simba. Oh, so he must switch in some way. Let's see. So you can put a mane on him and then he's the king. Let's see, what does it say here? Um, Three-step transformation changes Simba from adorable lion cub to full-grown king. Interesting. Huh, that's cool. I wonder if I've seen one of these and didn't even know because I didn't know about the transformation. And then we have the talking Simba and the roaring Simba. He says, I'm trying to be brave like you and I'm going to be king and we'll always be together. And then this one just brrrrs. <laughs> and of course requires AA batteries, not included. Oh, actually it says included. Oh, that's cool. That doesn't happen very often. 
And then here it looks like we've got some more plush pets. We've got baby Simba. So cute. Pumba, Simba, and Nala. Oh, sorry. I was like, where's Pumba? Purring Simba and Nala. So you must squeeze them somehow and they purr. That's cute. And then we've got Sweetie. Oh no, Sweetheart Simba and Nala. So they must have those magnets in their noses so that they their noses stay together so like they kiss. And then we have down here, we've got Zazu. We got one of the hyenas and Timon and Pumbaa, which look like they're partially plush and partially plastic, which looks a little odd. <laughs> and then on the next page here, we've got Lion King Jungle Secret Baby's Tree House Playset. So. I'm guessing these are smaller, like maybe not quite Polly Pocket size, but you know, because I can't see this being like a giant thing. Right? Don't you think? Oh, here's a kid's hand here. So they're probably maybe two inches. So I guess it is pretty big. And there's Simba and Nala there. Looks like a cute set. And then the next page we have jungle, more jungle secret babies. I don't think I've ever seen any of these sets, so I wonder if this is one of those things that didn't get produced. I guess I can't recall ever having run into these. And I've seen a lot of Lion King toys in my day. <laughs> so I'll have to look it up and see, but it just looks like something that possibly didn't get produced. This is more Jungle Friend Babies Jungle Playground Playset. And Jungle Friend Babies Assortment. So they basically just turned the Lion King um, characters into babies to make it appealing for little girls. To just make it cuter. The mobile is like little bananas. That's really cute. This almost looks like the guy from uh, Tarzan, doesn't it? Playground playset. And here's what the box looks like from that one. And then we move on to Winnie the Pooh, which is almost the, this is one page of Winnie the Pooh stuff, which I'm surprised because Winnie the Pooh was huge in the 90s was all about Pooh Bear. He's got some cute overalls with a little pocket in there. Oh, and his pocket is the book. That's cute. That's really cute. And then Eeyore has a book on his back that's called Eeyore Loses His Tail. Those are cute. I think I've seen this Eeyore one. Read and Cuddle Pooh Plush Assortment. And by assortment, they mean two. <laughs> and then the last page is just the index of all the different things. So that is it for the Girls' Toys of 1995 Mattel Dealer Catalog. This was a pretty cool catalog. There's a lot of fun things in here. Of course, a lot of Barbie, although I loved the, um, all the Polly Pockets that were in here. So many fun Polly Pockets, which check out video number part two 
um, to see all the Polly Pockets. And then part one is, of course, all the Barbies. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. I have so many more fun videos like this coming. I have two other dealer catalogs like this and then a whole stack of the little um, uh, booklets for My Little Ponies and more Barbies and other dolls and stuff. So lots more of those videos coming. I try not to put them too close together. I try to kind of intersperse them with other things. But there's lots more of that kind of stuff coming. So make sure and check that out. And in the meantime, I've got a, hundreds of other videos for you to check out if you haven't seen them yet. And I will see you next time.